Hey, good morning, everybody. It's Mark again here, Weatherman Plus. It is Tuesday morning, October 6th, so I hope you all have a great day today. Tuesday's a good day. To, it is nice weather. Just get all this bad information that you're about to see that you've been hearing about. It's not happening yet, so make sure you enjoy your day today. God bless every single one of you going through this stress and the pressure of this storm. Now, Hurricane Delta is literally one mile per hour away from Cat 3 Hurricane. It is 110 miles per hour, 111 starts to Cat 3. It is at 962 millibars. It is moving 15 miles per hour west to northwest, so it is going fast. Now, here's a tropical storm uh, probability force winds that you're going to get from this hurricane so far, and it will be updated, of course. Now, the red you see in there, that's 70% of tropical storm force winds. The orange is the 60%, and the tan is the 50% all the way out to Mississippi. Uh, this very strong red right here, this is 80% probability of tropical storm force winds. Now, here's a path tra trajectory from NOAA. It's predicted to be a major. I mean, any minute now, it's already at the cusp of it already. It's going to stay a major continuously all the way till Friday at 2 a.m., and that's when it meets the colder waters and the jet stream, and it starts weakening. And then it goes down to a hurricane, to a Cat 1, to a Cat 2. And then look, it not even goes down to a tropical storm after that. It just quickly goes down to a depression. So even though this is going to be bad on landfall, wherever this center is going to be, it will die out within 24 hours. It's just going to go down, but it's going to be a bad impact. So God bless all of you, whoever that does happen to. I definitely don't want none of that happening. Now, I'm going to show you two different things right here. This is the GFS uh, model at the 90 hour. That way you can see what it is. It's 90 hours away. This is at Saturday, not, not Thursday. It's showing Saturday. Okay, you're going to start feeling the bands already moving in, and the wind's going to start moving in really rough. But it's showing it's down to a 963. And if you go down to the next day, it's 971 and already jumped on land, but it's already weakening quickly. But that's a strong Cat 2 to almost a Cat 3. Let me go through everything, which is, give me one second. There it goes. Now, as you go to the Euro, the Euro brings it in on, on Saturday six hours later, and it brings it further west. It brings it to 988, which is way weaker. That's only a Cat 1. Okay, so that's, that's the one I'm rooting for. But it's right on the border of Texas and, and, and Louisiana. Like I said, it was a possibility that the storm could go to the border, but then it's going to quickly turn. And then even though it wouldn't be a direct impact towards Houston, which I know there's some questions out there, as you can see, some rain bands will be affecting all that area. So how much, we don't know yet as far as rain and wind. But on Saturday, you can see it, 986. This is this landing the Cat 1 according to Euro. So I'm loving the Euro model right now, way better than the GFS. Now this is the worst that y'all going to see today from other people. This is down to a 936 at its strongest point. This is the H wharf, and then if you watch it, where it, where it's predicted to land is further eastward. Now I was thinking it was further eastward as well, but but I was thinking also with the Euro strength of just the Cat One. So I'm thinking more easterly, but I'm thinking weaker. Now it goes to a 970. Okay, 970, and it's also. Uh, forecasted for Saturday as well. So Saturday does look like it's a pinpoint. It is going a little bit later. It is one or two days later than it was. It was Thursday. It was Friday. Now now it's, we're looking at Saturday. But be ready by Wednesday because I guarantee your rain bands will be coming in by Wednesday evening. Now if you look at the map, the model uh, for the for the Cat Two, it has to be a 979 or less. Okay, well, of course, stronger if you get way less, but it's got to be a 979. So I'm showing that it's a very strong Cat 1 according uh, to the H Wharf, also according uh, to the Euro. Now, the, the GFS shows that it's going to be a strong Cat 2, uh, almost a Cat 3. And then the H Wharf shows out there in the water with the 930. That's, that's Cat 4, guys. So the highest strength is showing that it's going to be Cat 4. It's, a, it's in agreement with a lot of other people. Uh, and if you look right here, this is a shot that we have right now on, on Windy. It shows exactly the form of this thing. And we can see if we can try and get an eye out of this thing. It is a thick, thick storm. It is all, all this dark red is just ready for conducive activity. It is just doing nothing but rapid intensification right now all the way to the center of the Gulf. 
can't quite make it out yet. It's just exploding so much. It is a crazy storm. Now, just so you know, Cat 3 is the major, and electricity and water will be unavailable for several days to weeks after this storm passes. All right, pause and read it if you want to see the rest of that stuff. So make sure you go to the link in the description. I believe it's on the bottom. It's in all my videos. It's poweroutage.us if you want to go yourself. Now, if you just click on your state, it'll break up in counties where you at, and it'll show who is working on your power and how long it could possibly be restored because nobody should be left out with not knowing that information. Now, here's what I have on WSV3. WSV3 does show it going up to a Cat 3. It does show a Cat 4. And it shows staying strong as a Cat 4, and that's the highest it's showing that it's going to go. Then it's going to weaken down uh, to a Cat 3, to a Cat 2, but it's showing the H wharf direction where it's a little more easterly. Okay, it's not showing the border of Houston and everything. And then it goes down to a Cat 1, and then Tropical Storm uh, right there in the center of Mississippi, and then be a Tropical Depression on the edge of Tennessee. Now, what I did is put it on the wind gust so we can see the maximum damage from the winds as well uh, from this storm. Let me slow it down a little bit because I'm sure I probably still got it set really fast because I like to check things out and not waste time. So here we go. This is the wind gust information as far as what's coming with this storm. I'll, I'll let you know what you're going to be reading in just a second. I want to see. Yeah, it's showing Cat 4 for the Yucatan as a possibility. And that, that's not really good, man. That's going to rip them up. It looks like most of the wind, though, uh, Cancun is always is on the north and the east, so that's a good thing. And the worst of it so far is 84 miles per hour wind gust as it zips on by. It looks like it weakens on the Yucatan Peninsula just a little bit, then it gets back over water and it starts strengthening back up again. Now, this is where it makes that Fujiwara Western push, and you can see that it gets all the way up. Let's see what we got right here. With these winds there's a hundred that's what it's showing so far guys I mean that's just the wind gust but we can imagine it's gonna be way worse than that it's gonna be more around 130 let me back that one up there's some strong winds nope not showing it and then it's gonna go down to to a three down to a two and then you got to the impact on New Orleans, Mississippi, Alabama. This is on the 9th. This is right at 1 p.m. Now, just so you know, the colors, the greens in the high 20s, the orange is the tropical depression, tropical storm is 30s to 40. The reds are 50s, pink 60s, purple 70s, blues are 80s, and then the, the yellows is 90s, and the whites is where it gets into the 100s to the crazy numbers. I've seen, I've seen crazy, crazy high numbers. But as you can watch now, let me, let me show you. When it, when it impacts, how quickly it's going, it's going to go down in strength. Immediately, there goes the hurricane force. There goes, there goes the, the 60s. All you got left is 40s and 50s. And that's some, it's going to be in some high 40s and 50s. I'm not going to lie. Let's see. We got it on the 9th, right at, right at noon. Now, right here on midnight, it looks like it's going to be a midnight landfall, guys. This is right around midnight. This is right in the center. That's where I'm showing. What is that right before landfall? Let's check this. But it's showing a cat 2 on a... On a Looks like it's going to be a strong cat, too. Not like super high strong, but strong enough to where you're going to be, oh my. That's a big storm. That's what we have. So there's a wind gust for, for this storm. That's who's all going to get impacted by it. And as you see, it, it will start to die out, but it will die out within 24 hours and go down to the tropical depression. It's going to be bringing flooding. It's going to bring... Uh, snap trees and everything you're gonna have all, all them problems especially in Louisiana and Mississippi so please be aware of that uh, if you need to get materials and now's the time to do it guys don't wait on that please now I wanted to praise God this morning I wanted to pray for God to bring in the cold waters colder than anybody's ever seen for God we know that you are the almighty God you are 
the, the one true king of the universe. We are just mere sinners that you, by, by, by your grace and, and the faith in Jesus Christ dying for our sins and raising from the dead three days later has saved us. And believing in that, you said that if we ask, we shall receive. Lord, if it is your will, we, we pray that these cold waters move in. This storm weakens way down. We do not want a Cat 2 or a Cat 3 or not even a Cat 1, Lord, hitting Louisiana or Mississippi or any of our Gulf states. For they've been through enough already. They had Laura. They had Sally. They have power outages. They have many problems, Lord. They have COVID. They have no jobs with no money. All we ask, Lord, just weaken this storm. We don't need this right now. Let this storm weaken. It only if it is your will, God. Amen. Now I'd like to go over Psalm 8. O Lord, our Lord, how excellent is thy name in all the earth, who has set thy glory above the heavens. Out of the mouth of babes and sucklings hast thou ordained strength because of thine enemies, that thou mightest still the enemy and the avenger. When I consider thy heavens, thy work of thy fingers, the moon and the stars which thou hast ordained, what is man that thou art mindful of him, and the sons of man that thou visit him? For thou hast made him a little lower than the angels, and hast crowned him with glory and honor. Thou madest him to have dominion over the works of thy hands, that, house, that thou hast put all things under his feet, all sheep and oxen, yea, and the beasts of the field, the fowl of the air, and the fish of the sea, and whatsoever passes through the paths of the sea. O Lord, our Lord, how excellent is thy name in all the earth. Amen. God bless you all today. I hope you all have a great day today. Remember, this is not hitting us today. This is not happening right now. Even though it's bad news, it can get better. Just believe. All glory goes to God, guys. God bless all of you. Amen.